OpenAI announced the opening of their GPT store. What is GPT? It's Generative Pre-trained Transformers. It's a fancy way of saying it's a custom chat GPT. So what are custom GPT and what can it do? Imagine you have a bunch of chefs who learn the main recipe for something at a culinary school called ChatGPT. And then they take that recipe back home, add their own interpretations to make it better for their needs. For instance, if you have a chef who is, in this instant, in the marketing world, ChatGPT is really good with general tasks. But if you have your own data and your own way of doing things, you can train ChatGPT to do things your way with your own data. And that's what custom GPT is. In this video, we will go into the GPT store and take a look to see what are the most popular GPTs and see how you can add your own or maybe find some useful GPT for you to use. Let's go to the GPT store and take a look. We're now at the OpenAI GPT stores. To access this, you need to go to chat.openai.com slash GPT. Once there, you will see this interface that I'm looking at right here. On the top, you will have a search bar. I'm sure you are very familiar with it by now. You search the same way you would do with a Bing or Google. Next, you will see that OpenAI breaks down their GPTs into different categories. You have DALI, which is for image generating. You have writing, productivity, research, analysis, programming, education, and lifestyle. Next, we have this features section. OpenAI will change this out on a weekly basis. And what I see right here is consensus. This is a very useful GPT. And if you're not familiar with consensus, a while back, they did create a plugin that allows you to search their database of white paper, academic papers to help you with your different type of writings. And we'll come back to consensus. I will do a demo for you. Now let's keep going to the trending sessions. Most popular GPTs created by the community, meaning these are GPTs created by you, me, or some of these bigger companies. And these are the particular GPTs that are gaining a lot of users right now. Let's take a look and see what are the top 10s. We have consensus, AI PDF. This allows you to read your PDF files. AI PDF allows you to read your PDF file up to two gigabyte per file. This is massive. If you have a lot of PDF from your knowledge base and you want to have your GPT read it, this is one of the tools that you can use. Next, we have Grimoire Coding Wizard. It allows you to create a website with just a sentence. Then we have Canva. Then Video GPT by V. This is very interesting. A while ago, I did a video showcasing the power of ChatGPT with the CapCut plugins. Essentially, it allows you to create a video from just describing what you want. Video GPT by Veed accomplishes the same thing. Back to the trending sections of the GPT store. This is one way for you to get revenue share from OpenAI. OpenAI have announced that sometime in Q1 of 2024, they will do a revenue share with the users who created these GPT. How much you get paid is based on the amount of usage from their users. The more users you have for your own GPTs, the more you will get paid from OpenAI. And with that, let me do a demonstration of the things you can do from these GPTs that a chat GPT might not be able to do. Let's jump into consensus. Okay, so I've opened up the consensus GPT. Imagine you're writing something where you need to pull some stats. Chat GPT, a lot of time it makes up facts. It made up statistics. It hallucinate and just made things up. So if you need to write something where fact is an important key factor for you, then consensus can help you out. Uh, for instance, I need to pull stats about population growth in Colorado or population decrease in California. Let me take a look and see if someone have done their research on the topic. So I put in 
a prompt that says, I want to know the population decline in Northern California. Let me see if it can search something. Now, one thing you have to pay attention to is that it will ask you for permission to allow it to connect back to their API or wherever they have this data. Most of these companies, when they're pulling information from their own server, will have to ask you to allow it. So just go ahead and click allow and let it do things. It looks like no one have done a research on human population decline in Northern California. The search for papers on human population decline in Northern California yield a variety of studies, but none directly addressing the specific query about human population trends. All right, so let me try something else. So I put in, how about the study of effectiveness of social media? Let me see what it can come up with. This topic actually came back with a lot of different papers, but but I just want to cut it short and show you an example of what it will look like. You can see here, it says evaluation framework for social media brand presence. This study proposed an evaluation framework for companies to monitor activities and measures the effectiveness of their social media utilizations for marketing purposes. Then here is an embedded link that directly takes you to a consensus. If you have a subscription to consensus, then you can read this entire paper and pull out the stats that you want. If not, you can still search ChatGPT to get what you want. Canva is also a very powerful tool. It allows you to create presentation, different kind of graphics that you want. So for this demonstration, I'm going to ask Canva GPT to create an Instagram quote card for me with the quote right behind me. Gratitude is key and show you what it looks like. The prompt I put in is very simple. It's create an IG post for me with the quote, gratitude is key. And let me see what it looks like. As you can see, it's talking to chatgptplugin.canva.com. It's talking back to the server and now is giving me examples. Okay, so it's done. It says, hello, excited to bring your vision to life. Start your creative journey with Canva. What will we design together today? And since I already gave it what I want, now it created a square and it says gratitude is key. Then it wrote a sentence for me here. Gratitude unlocks the fullness of life. It turns what we have into enough and more. It can turn meals into a feast, a house into a home, a strangers into a friend. Let us be grateful for today and every day. It even gave me hashtags. I can go ahead and download this as is, or if you have a Canva account, you can click on it and edit it even further. That's Canva GPT. Let's go back to the GPT store and let me demonstrate to you one of my GPTs that I think will help you out tremendously when you write contents using chat GPT. Now, as you can see here, I have created a lot of different GPTs. Most of these are for my personal use. The one that I want to demonstrate for you is called Brand Voice Generator. A lot of time when you are writing content in ChatGPT and other language models, they don't sound like you. The content, the output sounds different. I created this so that you don't need to write the prompt to train it every single time with Brand Voice Generator. After you hit the button, say, write a tweet like me, it will say, well, hello, I'm Brand Voice Generator version two. I specialize in capturing and emulating unique personal voices. To write a tweet like you, I just need to analyze your writing. So then what you need to do is gather a bunch of your posts, your short tweet, your long tweet, your Facebook post, your article, whatever. Just make sure that it's not AI generated, but it's written by you. I've compiled about 20 posts on stuff that I have written in the past. I'm going to feed it to this GPT. All right. I have attached the posts that I have written before. Now I'm going to say, by the way, I'm Juan and see what it will reply. So it looks like there is some issue with chat GPT right now. It's showing me a red color, which is fine. It still did what it's supposed to do. Now it says, great. Now that we have established the character profile, I'll create a detailed paragraph to encapsulate your unique brand voice. 
This paragraph can be used as a prompt for any large language model, including ChatGPT, Cloud2, Google Bart. Essentially, this is a Python code that you can just hit copy code right here. You can just then paste this to the end of your prompt, whatever you're instructing your ChatGPT to do. And it will write like you. It even give you simple instructions on how to do this, right? If you haven't watched this video on the demonstrations, you're not lost in the sauce. You can still figure this out because it's telling you what to do. So that's brand voice generator for you. Now you might be thinking you are running a business, you're a solopreneur, you are a business owners, maybe a real estate agent. You don't need to create your own GBT because there are already thousands of these out there. It's true. There are thousands of these out there, but none of these were trained with your process and your data. This is exactly why you need to create your own GPT. It's so simple to do, it's crazy not to. So I urge you to go ahead and play around with the new GPT creator. If you have any questions about how to set up your GPT, just hit me up, send me a quick message, drop a comment down below, and let me see how I can help you create your own version of GPT. If you're already tech savvy, let me know what kind of GPT you'll be creating in the comment below as well. The AI revolution is here to stay and we're just getting started.